Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's Indigo Disc DLC has been out for almost a month now, and I'm sure a good handful of us have been enjoying our journey so far. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my 200 hour journey of shiny hunting in the Indigo Disc. Let's ride. What's going on my fellow Pokemon trainers? How you guys doing? As you guys already know, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my journey through the Indigo Disc shiny hunting for 200 hours. Not all in one sitting though. A dude's gotta sleep. So let's head to the terrarium, shall we? Within the first hour of being inside the terrarium, we ran into our shiny Manchino. I kind of feel bad because I made my friends that I was grouped up with wait until I got that thing. <laughs> Not long after that, we actually ran into a shiny Milstery. Is that it? It is it! Let's go, bro! Let's go, bro. I'm not gonna lie, it caught me off guard. I wasn't sure if that was it or not. About an hour into exploring the canyon biome, I went into the charred stone caverns and accidentally ran into a shiny Rotom, which completely threw me off guard. Like, I didn't get a chance to record the full footage. But don't you worry, we'll be right back to the charred stone caverns. Shiny hunting a specific starter. All right, as you can see, we're out here in the polar biome. These two interesting hunts were interesting to say the least. Starting off with something you guys may have seen in the short. Bro, I got, I legit just got cucked, bro. Is it still there? Yo, it's there. Yo, come here. Come here, my boy. Come here, my boy. Come here, my boy. Come here, my boy. You're a fake. You're a fake shiny. Oh, you're a Terra. Oh, that's worse, bro, I got played. <laughs> Yeah, it was my proudest moment. I have no idea if I should count that as a shiny fail, but you know what? This next hunt kind of makes up for it. Oh, <gasps> shiny crab brawler though. Let's go. And that'll be the end of day one. We are six hours into this shiny hunt journey and we obtained four shinies. Not too bad. I'll catch you guys in the morning. And good morning, it's day two. We're going to be continuing our journey here in the savannah biome. You know what they say, there's no better way to start your day than getting yourself a rye horn. It's gold, yeah. I think it's gold. Bro, is, is dirt brown as a shiny rye horn? <laughs> Little did I realize that that shiny rye horn was going to be followed up by a shiny trap inch. Who knew? To be honest, I really didn't expect that thing to show up as quick as it did. Like I wasn't even trying to hunt it. I didn't even have a sandwich ready. I was honestly just going about my day. Which leads us to our next surprise shiny. Oh my lord, bro. I just ran into a shiny Litten. No, oh, the Litten, the other one. The Lit Leo. Come here, bro. Come here, bro, you little cute cub, you. Outside of the mess up of the name, I like to say that's a good find. And because of that, I'll get that shiny a 10 out of 10. Speaking of 10 out of 10 shinies, this shiny I actually hunted for. There you are! There you are! Oh wait, oh. And I know the way it sounded. It sounded like I wasn't happy about getting him. I really was. I was just gonna let my friend get it and I messed up. And that concludes day two of our shiny hunt journey. We were out here in the savannah biome for seven whole hours and we acquired four more shinies, making it a total of a whopping 13 hours and eight shinies. Honestly, eight shinies in two days isn't too bad. Catch you guys in the morning. Good morning, I hope you guys had a wonderful slumber because I know I did. So here's the thing about day three. Day three was very unproductive. I'm not saying we didn't get any shinies, but we only got one and it took us about 10 hours. This hunt itself only took like 27 minutes, but all the other hunts kept failing and this one only got because I had a sandwich and friends to help me. Thumbs up, striker. Oh, there you are, you little creature, you. But you know what? Day four, I can promise you, is going to be a lot more productive because day four ended up being day five, six, and seven. So that concludes day three, adding an extra 10 hours to our journey and one more shiny to our collection. Which brings us to a total of 23 hours and a total of 9 shinies. See you in the morning. Good morning. I hope you guys had a wonderful flight over here to the Kitakami region. 
I know I didn't. I had a very cramped up flight, bro. They didn't even give me a window seat, but that's besides the point. The next four days, so we're gonna be taking advantage of the Litwick outbreaks. Let's go ahead and have some fun, shall we? While we were taking advantage of these Litwick outbreaks, we actually ended up running to a shiny Annihilate. I'm honestly surprised at how quick it showed up without a sparkling power. I wasn't really keeping track of time, though. That's it. Yes, that is it. That's it. Quick ball it, quick ball it, quick ball it. Forgive me for sounding so low energy, I actually just woke up during the time of doing this voiceover. But let's go see our next encounter though. Another surprise encounter that I wasn't expecting was the shiny Lotad just appearing right after the Annihilate. <gasps> shiny Lotad, let's go bro! Let's go! I'm telling you these next three days are going to be insane. Because after this, we started hunting our Litwicks. Cue the montage! No, 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 that's... Oh. I need it. Yeah, boy. Yeah, they're... I'm pretty sure y'all get the point. We ran into a lot of Litwicks. But what I didn't see coming was... I did not just run into this. I did! Shiny knocked out. Yo, what's good, bro? What's good? Which brings us to our next outbreak, Flabebe. Now, shiny hunting the Flabebe was not easy, seeing that they're so small you cannot see the purple on them. But, I made it work. The wild part of hunting those Flabebe is ended up running into a shiny Orangaroo in the process. It was actually pretty clean. Breaking news! In all seriousness, though. I've been alarmed that there's an outbreak for deli birds in the blueberries terrarium, so we're gonna head over there real quick. See you in a flash! Ah, the blueberry terrarium. How long has it been? Probably like two days or so? Let's see what you have in store for us today, my friend. Hey look guys, pink Santa Claus! It's an outbreak, so you know what that means. Cue the montage! Okay, let me level with you about this deli bird outbreak event, alright? I caught way too many of them in one outbreak alone. I hate to sound like an ASPCA commercial, but if you have $5 to spare to get help these poor creatures find a home, please call this number 1 800 225. Anyways, these four days have been very productive. We did good. We knocked out a total of 96 hours, 45 extra shinies, including the ones I wasn't able to get recorded, bringing our total time to 119 hours, and bringing our total shinies caught to 54. I look forward to what day 8 and 9 have in store for us. See ya in the morning. Alright, day 8. We're going to be going literally everywhere for these next hunts. I hope you guys are ready because I am. Let's go. We started the day off like we always do, trying to get a shiny Chikorita, but then we ran into this beauty, which I had no idea what it looked like as a shiny. Now this banana monkey actually caught me off guard because I was still hunting that same Chikorita. While shiny hunting for our Dewpiter, I ended up running to this Araquanid. Yes! So now we're back in the savannah hunting for our shiny Scyther, but instead we run into this bad boy. Oh, oh, oh! Shiny, shiny! Shiny Venomoth! 
Shiny Venomon, let's go! Later on that day, I went on a journey to go get a shiny Skarmory because I've always wanted one shiny. And boy, I thought it was going to be hard to spot, but no, it actually wasn't. And that was the last Pokemon on day 8. There's two more Pokemon that we have to catch here in the Terrarium, but we'll have to do those tomorrow. Now we can call it a day and see how good we did. Today we put in a whole 24 hours, and we obtained 5 more shinies to our collection. Brings us to a total of 143 hours, and 59 shinies total. Boy, I need a hobby. Also, I'd like to say, if you made it this far into this video, I'm sorry. But if you're enjoying the content, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. It helps out the video and the channel a lot. Now that we're done with our shameless plug-in, let's move on to our final day. See you in the morning. Good morning, it's our final day and we're heading back to Charged Stone Cavern as promised to get our shiny starter. Can you guess what it is? If you guessed Chespin then that's because you know how to use your power of you! And you probably use Cerebi, shame on you. All jokes aside though, Chespin actually took me probably like two hunts so it's a total of an hour. Which is still better time than Chikorita seeing the fact I'm still hunting it. Then we went back to Paldea because I was determined to make sure I got my shiny Marini. So we went back for our shiny Marini. And since I was tying up some loose ends, I figured I might as well grab me a Shrudel before I went back to Blueberry Academy. We are back at the Blueberry Academy. It's time for us to get the final shiny of this video. I have two shiny Smeargles, but the thing is I've never actually caught one. All of them's been traded to me. But this one, I was determined to catch on my own. Fun fact, Canyon Rest Area is the best place to isolate hunt them. Alright, funny story. Smeargle was the final shiny for this video, but this bad boy right here just showed up out of the blue while working on this video. A little fourth wall breaking action. And there you go, day nine is complete. Let's head back to the lounge and see how we did. All right, now that it's not cold anymore, we knocked out 24 hours for day nine and five more extra shines was added to our collection, bringing us a total of 167 hours just from day nine, bringing our shining count to 64, but that's not including the Jingmo outbreak event, which took two hours, the Dratini outbreak event, which took two hours, and the Dorolodon outbreak event that took literally 40 hours for me to get one, which kind of sucks that I didn't have any footage for those because I had family here for the holidays. It honestly just slipped my mind to clip, leaving us with a total of 82 shinies throughout this whole journey. I want to thank everybody for making it this far through the video. You guys didn't have to and I appreciate you. Leave a like and comment below if you want more content like this. This was actually pretty fun. And don't forget to subscribe so that way you know when content is coming your way. And click on this video right here because I'm sure you're going to end up enjoying it. And I will see you guys in the next video.